and friends. My name is Mrs. Moore, and today we're reading a story called Lily's Purple Plastic Purse by Kevin Hankies. Here we go. Lily loved school. She says, I love school. She loved the pointy pencils. She loved the squeaky chalk. And she loved the way her boots went clickety-clickety-click down the long, shiny hallways. The teacher says, no running. And Lily loved the privacy of her very own desk. She says, mine. She loved the fish sticks and chocolate milk every Friday in the lunchroom. She says, straws make everything taste better. And most of all, she loved her teacher, Mr. Slinger. And she says, for you, the flower. Mr. Slinger was as sharp as a tack. He wore artistic shirts. He wore glasses on a chain around his neck. And he wore a different colored tie for each day of the week. Wow, said Lily. That was just about all she could say. Wow. Instead of greetings, children, or good morning, pupils, Mr. Slinger winked and said, Howdy. He thought that desks in rows were old-fashioned and boring. Do you rodents think you can handle a semicircle? And he always provided the most tasty snacks, things that were curly and crunchy and cheesy. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Me too, said her friends Chester and Wilson and Victor. At home, Lily pretended to be Mr. Slinger. I am the teacher, she told her baby brother, Julius. Listen up. Lily even wanted her own set of deluxe picture encyclopedias. Lily says, teachers know everything. What's with Lily? asked her mother. I thought she wanted to be a surgeon or an ambulance driver or a diva, said her father. It must be because of her new teacher, Mr. Slinger, said her mother. Wow, said her father. That was just about all he could say. Wow. Whenever the students had free time, they were permitted to go to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. They expressed their ideas creatively through drawing and writing. Lily went often. She had a lot of ideas. She drew pictures of Mr. Slinger, and she wrote stories about him, too. During sharing time, Lily showed her creations to the entire class. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. And here's Lily's picture. She drew a picture of Mr. Slinger, and she said, Big, friendly, Mr. Nice Man Teacher, by me, Lily. And here's the story she, she wrote about it. And at the very last second, Mr. Slinger saved the cold, starving, elderly. Sounds like she's writing very nice stories about her teacher. When Mr. Slinger had bus duty, Lily stood in line, even though she didn't ride the bus. Lily raised her hand more often than anyone else in class, even if she didn't know the answer. She says, call on me, call on me, please, please. And she volunteered to stay after school to clap the erasers. Now, back when we had chalk on the chalkboard instead of markers on the whiteboard, when you erase the board, you get all this chalk dust in the erasers. And then after school, you take the erasers outside and you clap them together to make the dust go away. Lily says, 
I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. On Monday morning, Lily came to school especially happy. She had gone shopping with her Grammy over the weekend. Lily had a new pair of movie star eyeglasses, oh, sorry, sunglasses, complete with glittery diamonds and a chain like Mr. Slinger's. And she had three shiny quarters. And best of all, she had a brand new purple plastic purse that played a jaunty tune when it was opened. And you can see when it opens, it makes music. She looks pretty happy. Let's see what happens next. Turn the page, Mrs. Moore. Okay. Oh, wait, I missed a page. We don't want to do that. Here we go. This is where we should be. Okay. Lily wanted to show everyone her purse. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Listen to our story. But Lily had a hard time listening. Her friend said, shh. Lily really wanted to show everybody. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Let's be considerate of our classmates. <sighs> Lily had a hard time being considerate. Lily really, really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Wait until recess or sharing time. But Lily could not wait. Her friend said, She's in trouble. The glasses were so glittery, the quarters were so shiny, and the purse played such nice music, not to mention how excellent it was for storing school supplies. Look, Lily whispered fiercely. Look, everyone, look at what I've got. Everyone looked, including Mr. Slinger. He was not amused. I'll just keep your things at my desk until the end of the day, said Mr. Slinger. They'll be safe there, and then you can take them home. Well, Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. Her glasses were gone. Her quarters were gone. Her purple plastic purse was gone. Oh, Lily longed for her purse all morning. She was even too sad to eat the snack Mr. Slinger served before recess. That afternoon, Lily went to the light bulb lab. She was still very sad. She thought, and she thought, and she thought. And then she became angry. She thought, and she thought, and she thought some more. And then she became furious. She thought and she thought and she thought a bit longer. And then she drew a picture of Mr. Slinger. Ooh, there she is drawing her picture. Mm, and here's what she drew. It says, big, fat, mean Mr. Stealing teacher. He has claws. He's a thief. He's bad. Oh, my. It said, wanted by the FBI. P.S. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up. Oh, well, she was angry, wasn't she? Right before the last bell rang, Lily sneaked the drawing into Mr. Slinger's book bag. When all the students were buttoned and zipped and snapped and tied and ready to go home, Mr. Slinger strolled over to Lily and gave her purple plastic purse back. It's a beautiful purse, said Mr. Slinger. Your quarters are nice and jingly, and those glasses are absolutely fabulous. You may bring them back to school as long as you don't disturb the rest of the class. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up, Lily said as she marched out of the classroom. Everybody gets angry sometimes, and Lily sure was angry, wasn't she? On her way home, Lily opened her purse. Her glasses and quarters were inside, and so was a note 
from Mr. Slinger. It said, Today was a difficult day. Tomorrow will be better. There was also a small bag of tasty snacks at the bottom of the purse. Was that a nice thing for Mr. Slinger to do? Oh. Well, how do you think Lily is feeling now that she read that note from Mr. Slinger? Oh, Lily's stomach hurted. Her stomach lurched. She felt like crying. Oh, she felt simply awful. Lily ran all the way home and told her mother and father everything, which was a good choice. Instead of watching her favorite cartoons that afternoon, Lily decided to sit in the uncooperative chair, or her timeout chair. She said, I'll stay here a million years for Mr. Slinger. She's sad. She said, why does everything always happen to me? 1051, 1052, 1099. And then she got up. So that night, Lily drew a new picture of Mr. Slinger and wrote a story about him, too. Here's the picture. It says, listen up. I forgive everyone. He's kind and good and nice. And she says, he could be the principal. And there's the worms and bugs. And she says, oops, because she stepped on a bug with her boots. And Lily says, I am really, really sorry. Oh, wait a minute. It says, I am really, 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 really Sorry. Let's see what story she wrote about Mr. Slinger. She says, Lily was really, really sorry. So everyone forgave her, even her parents, even her stinky baby brother, even her especially incredible teacher. And then the sun shined its smiley face down on everyone and everything, even the bugs and worms. The end. Oh, that's why she put the bugs and worms. She says, I'm an author. Yeah, she is. Lily's mother wrote a note, too. And Lily's father baked some tasty snacks for Lily to take to school the next day. I think Mr. Slinger will understand, said Lily's mother. I know he will, said Lily's father. How could he resist my no-frills cheese balls? Wow, that was nice of her dad to make some snacks. So, the next morning, Lily got to school early. These are for you, Lily said to Mr. Slinger, because I'm really, 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 really sorry. So Mr. Slinger read the story and he looked at the picture and he read the note from Lily's mom Lily says, what does it say? And he sampled the snacks that her daddy made. He says, yum, yum. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. I think he liked it. Now, what do you think we should do with this? Asked Mr. Slinger. Hmm. He's holding Lily's old note. Um, could we just throw it away? Asked Lily. Excellent idea, said Mr. Slinger. Now, during sharing time, Lily demonstrated the many uses and unique qualities of her purple plastic purse, her shiny quarters, and her glittery movie star sunglasses. She said, it's like having an extra pocket with a radio inside. And about the quarters, she said, 
three quarters are even better than a dollar bill because they make noise. And about her sunglasses, she said, glamorous protection from harmful rays. Then she did a little performance using them as props. It's called interpretive dance, said Lily. And Mr. Slinger joined in. Wow, said the entire class. That was just about all they could say. Wow. Now, throughout the rest of the day, Lily's purse and quarters and sunglasses were tucked safely inside her desk. She peeked at them often, but did not disturb a soul. There she's peeking in her desk. Peek, peek, peek. Right before the, clap, the last bell rang, Mr. Slinger served Lily snacks to everyone's delight. What do you want to be when you grow up? asked Mr. Slinger. A teacher, everyone responded. And Lily's response was the loudest. Excellent choice, Mr. Slinger said. As the pupils filed out of the classroom, Lily held her pl purple plastic purse close to her heart. Mr. Slinger was right. It had been a better day. Lily ran and skipped and hopped and flew all the way home. She was so happy. And she really did want to be a teacher when she grew up. Well, that is, when she didn't want to be a dancer or a surgeon or an ambulance driver or a diva or a pilot or a hairdresser or a scuba diver. It's so fun to think about all the different things you can be when you grow up. Lily says, oh, there she's cutting her brother's hair. And now she's an ambulance driver. She says, accident, accident, woo, woo, woo. And she's singing like a diva. And she's being a scuba diver and a dancer. And, oh, now she's pretending to be a surgeon. She says, hold still, the doctor's here. And now she's being a pilot. She says, ready for takeoff. <laughs> How fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. Thank you for listening.